Welcome back to the World School Vanities. In today's video, we're going to show you six places to stay in Oahu. We've got everything from convenient, budget-friendly hotels all the way up to luxury resorts and everything in between. We got tired of seeing nothing but luxury options when looking for places to stay, so we made our own video and included budget-friendly and military options. We hope you enjoy our video and all the places we picked out. What we like about this hotel is it's right next to the airport, plus it has really convenient access to all public transportation. There's a nice pool here. Within walking distance, you can get a Starbucks, you can get a burger, you can get a pizza, and then you can come back and hang out at the pool. It's just really convenient. It's still Oahu, they still have palm trees, the weather's still nice, and you'll save a lot of money. you are active duty, guard, reserve, 100% disabled veteran, or even any level of service-connected disability, you could stay here at the Halekoa. Yeah, it offers uh, a bit of a luxury resort stay for a good price for our uh, veteran benefits. So this is our pretty budget-friendly military option. Hope you enjoy. Another great thing about staying at the Halekoa is that it is right on the beach. There are pools, but you can also just jump in the water. Plus they have luau's and you can even catch the fireworks at night. the Oasis Hotel. Our favorite parts about this hotel are it's right, right down the street from the Waikiki Beach Walk area. So you have restaurants, you have shopping. If you don't know anything about that area, we have another video, so check it out. And what about this hotel? What do they have? So there's a swimming pool, a laundry area. They got a nice little koi pond. They do a great continental breakfast for $130 a night in the middle of Waikiki. You can't beat it. Budget friendly, super convenient, and we recommend. best part about the Courtyard Marriott is it's literally right next to the Polynesian Cultural Center, which has luau's and all kinds of things that you can do and learn to celebrate Polynesian culture 
And not only that, it's right across the street from one of the most beautiful beaches on island. Yes, this is beautiful. What do you think, Ezrin? Sure. You want to stay at this one? Yeah. This one is one of the moderately priced. Mm -hmm. um, there are not a lot of like shopping and restaurant around here, but there are food trucks and little local food places all up and down the street. So you are not going to go hungry and it's going to be delicious. Disney Resort and Spa. Here's what we love about it. The best part about Ayulani Resort is that Disney magic is woven into every experience. Disney characters roam the grounds, there's excellent customer service and quality that Disney is known for. Ayulani brings the Hawaiian Island legends to life through music, hula dance, and fireside stories. Another great thing about Ayulani is that it has five pools, a lazy river, and a water park. There's also calm beaches, perfect for cakeies, perfect if you just feel like floating on a floaty. If you love Disney, don't miss out on this one. Turtle Bay Resort and this one by far is the most luxury hotel, the most expensive on our list. You can stay in bungalows, you can stay in regular hotel rooms. It's up here on the North Shore. Private ocean villas. Private ocean villas. Uh, there are private helicopter rides nearby. There is a golf course. Um, uh, Koala Beach Park which you can do mountain biking, uh, sup, canoeing, Horseback riding. Horseback, riding. Horseback riding. Horseback riding. So much to do here. It's definitely beautiful. It's definitely amazing. Save up for it. This is not budget friendly at all. Uh, but we, we like the area. And um, even if you only just want to drive up here and, and check it out, it's worth a visit. <laughs>